When I was first interviewed for this job as the CEO of the Committee for Melbourne, I was asked, what is it that I like about Melbourne? Why is it that I was wanting to return home? And I answered, there are two things. I like the MCG, and I like the fact that you can drink water from the tap. And our chairman, Mr. Papa, said to me, Andrew, aren't you being just a little bit flippant? And I said, no, hang on a minute. Think about it. The MCG. You cram 100,000 people into a stadium. You mix them up together. They passionately support one or other of the two teams. And at the end of the day, someone wins, someone loses, and everyone goes home. No violence, no riots, no flares. The MCG says a lot about Melbourne and its community and about how the people interrelate with each other. And drinking water from the tap. I've run UN emergency operations in a number of countries and I've had the opportunity to live in some of the world's best cities like Kabul, Islamabad and Kigali and some of the other ones like London and New York. And I know that most people on the planet can't do a simple thing like drink water from the tap. The fact that we can says a lot about our governance our, and our infrastructure. So those two very simple things, the MCG and drinking water from the tap, say a lot about our community, how we work together, our infrastructure and our governance. And at the end of the day, in Melbourne, everything works. And Melbourne works because it's been planned from the beginning, from Hoddle and Co moving forward. We have been very lucky. And over the last quarter of a century, the Committee for Melbourne has been very proud that it has made its contribution to the present day Melbourne. The great challenge for all of us and the challenge for the Committee for Melbourne is for us to continue with a great city. And you'll hear from George Pappas later this evening about more of what we've done in the past, where we are today and where we'll be going in the future. So in the interim, before we hear from George a little bit later on, I ask you to continue your entrees and enjoy yourself and remember, no matter how bad a day you might have, when you come home at the end of the day, you're lucky. And you're lucky because you live in Melbourne. Thank you and enjoy your evening.